Bifos, líderes en soluciones al sector productor de camarón en México. Formamos una alianza junto a los principales y más grandes productores en la búsqueda de la eficiencia, rentabilidad y excelencia. Contamos con la más grande capacidad de producción de alimento en la industria, pues estamos comprometidos con el enorme reto de la acuicultura a nivel mundial. Junto a los productores, exportamos al mundo producto de gran calidad y un alto estándar nutricional. Welcome you all to this third day of conferences of CONACUA 2020. To begin the program, we will have the participation of Dr. Wilson Wasilewski. He has a PhD in Biology and Oceanography by the University Federal University of Rio Grande, a postgraduate of South Carolina University on Natural Resources and Medicine. As one of his recent works, he has been working as a researcher coordinator on the mill fish meal flour, and different kinds of protein in collaboration with the web in nutrition and animal nutrition. Laiwas has long experience in research on cultures in intensive cultures and semi-intensive cultures. He will be talking about the evaluation on the use of fish meal flour, white stream lithopenos baname in intensive and semi-intensive bioflow on the Pacific white stream penos baname. I would like to thank a lot the invitation from Conacua and my name is Wilson Wasileski. I'm going to be presenting a study that we are performing close to evaluate the about the evaluation of um, fish meal floor on the diets of white shrimp of the Pacific on culture intensive uh, is a system of bioflock. I work in the University Federal of Rio Grande at South Brazil close to Uruguay and Argentina. I work specifically on the Marine Aquaculture Station close to the sea in the city of Rio Grande. We work with uh, several production systems from developing different uh, studies uh, with Bioflock from 2005. We produce more than five. Uh, publications on systems of your flock. Well, as you know, as per the FAO, the aquaculture will increase about 50% in the following years. But the price in the, in the production of fish meal flour on oil will increase at least 15%. This is used to, for food on the shrimp. How can we solve this? Uh, several authors and researchers along the world, they are working to find solutions for this issue. They are doing the substitution of fish meal flour as for soja, meat, bones, and other agricultural products, among others, as you can see on this slide. Another point also is that uh, several investigators, they confirm that in the bioflock system, it might help the shrimp 
on the growth and the protection of his resilience and the different stages, the immunity. So it brings a lot of good things on different parameters that make this system a system more biosafe and very interesting for the world level aquaculture, mainly for shrimp and for fish that they are different, that they filter like lapia, lizards, etc. These bioflux have several groups of microorganisms as bacteria, diatomeas, chlorophytas, protozoas, cochiferos, several animals that uh, have a composition, a very interesting composition for the feeding and that composition of this bioflock is not always the same. We have a composition that they range, for example, from 20-25% to 40% of protein. It's a food that is a very interesting for this, for example, in the case that we're talking about shrimp. Well, on the other hand, the production, for example, I live in Brazil, we have a production not, not very big, and we have uh, several residues. Those residues and of uh, different nutrients, and uh, they may help of uh, aids for the food. The production of Brazil is, is still growing, more and more tons, and uh, more than 100 tons in 2019. There's a demand of intensive systems and super intensive systems to prevent diseases. There are not many foods, balanced food of quality for the super intensive bioflock system. And also, as we said, it was of what we spoke before, the definition of the relative amount available of fish meal floor is also a problem. So, we started those studies to analyze the use of substitutes of fish meal flows on the feeding of Lithopeneos banamei on the system of bioflock cultures. Sorry. I will sometimes I'll speak like in Portuguese, but well. Your flock. The idea is work with those foods for the stream and the via flock at the same time. Well, at first, let's start to build together with COVID uh, the nutrition of animal. Uh, foods and nutrition and some experiments with wabi are the making of uh, wabi uh, that we call the fish meal analog el analogo de harina de pescado fish meal analogo or FMA fish meal analog this fish meal analog is made out of uh, f bones, uh, b floor, mid floor, uh, bones of blood, of feathers, so products of other uh, other kind of poultry, calamari, uh, different kind of mixture. So this is form and make a floor. Uh, fish meal analog. This analog has a composition of 47% of raw protein, of 16% of lipids, and uh, the rest of the composition. This uh, floor, this FME uh, analog fish meal was produced for several studies. It's been produced first, a third place, three 
kind of a lancet food and isoproteicus and the energetic with 38% of raw protein and 7.45% of uh, different floors with different replacements of fish meal by analog of fish meal and with that we have here the composition of up to of those floors, uh, the composition that they were made and to different experiments with intensive cultures and super intensive cultures and a third experiment with a super intensive culture we worked with uh, different balanced food that they had uh, uh, composition of 0% of fish meal analog or analog of the harina de pescado another treatment with 50% of fish meal analog and fish meal and another 100% of fish meal analog substitution completely leaving out the fish meal and those were the three balanced food that they were used and produced they were uh, made four experiments on pilot commercial size the first one, the use of fish meal analog on the feeding of uh, lithopenol on intensive cultures, uh, 1 to 10 grams, the same of the same food, instead of super intensive in raceways, from 1 to 10 grams, and the shrimp, the use of the fish meal analog in lithopenol baname. Uh, and to f super intensive rest waste from 10 to 20 shrimp of of 20 grams and the use of uh, f fish meal analog this decreasing the amount of protein that we were giving is the fourth one the fourth experiment the first experiment we worked with uh, the use of this fish meal elf to grow it 10 more or less 10 grams so we have here we have here the drawing of the of the balanced foods 0 50 and 100 percent of fish meal analogs by substituting those amounts for fish meal analogs. We worked with uh, uh, the juveniles that they were taken from the hatchery f to from the lab. We produced uh, seeds of 15 days and we passed them to the pre-brooding and the nursery until juveniles of 1 or 2 grams in 30-40 days more or less and we use it to do the first experiment uh, different pools covered with liner those pools those tanks uh, were made and I work with uh, in around nine weeks it was used uh, a pedal wheel of two horsepower per tank per pound and uh, it was used uh, sea water and agua of the underground with salinity of uh, eight parts per million it was used as an inoculo of mature bioflock of five percent coming from another cultures it was 120 juveniles per square meter. The feeding was in feeders three times per day, based on the work by Jory in 2001. Also, 
here an example of the system of aeration system two aerators of one H of two HP equivalent to 33 HP per hectare and the methodology the physical parameters chemical parameters the temperature salinity oxygen salt oxygen ammonia pH nitritos nitrates alkalinity solids this at the bottom and total solids and the result of this first experiment the temperature and those pounds did vary here a lot only at the end it went down to 25 or more or less but more or less they were stay within the range ideal for the species and it was not detected significant difference on the treatments same thing for the oxygen the dissolved oxygen uh, did not have uh, within the it was a stay within the ideal there was no big difference significant difference on that the suspended solid the total suspended solid happened about the same it did increase a bit by the end of the culture uh, with uh, with the time we did uh, as the planification and with this we did not have significant difference among the treatments the quality quality of the water the pH salinity alkalinity phosphates all the parameters were kept within the acceptable levels for the species without significant difference among treatments the nitrogenates the ammonia nitrato the average were within the safety limits for the baname the nitrito always almost all the time and uh, and the six six week the nitrate exceed a little bit higher for some treatments and uh, produced and produced a mortality but the mortality in all the treatments the culture parameters the survival was uh, around 60 percent the final weight reach uh, 10 11 grams without significant difference the growth of one gram per week uh, the productivity it was around eight tons per hectare the the conversion about 1.7, the conversion of 1.9, 1.8, and I want to mention that the salinity of eight parts and the nitrate close to 20 is what caused the mortality, but it was basically the same in all the treatments. It was no detected dif significant difference among the for the survivals so as conclusion of this first experiment is that the fish meal analog can replace up to 100 percent on the fish meals on the foods that they are used as for the fish meal analog in this commercial production on intensive bioflock systems with a prejudice of the water quality or the culture or the behavior the so technique behavior of the animals well good and the experiment two the use of fish meal analog in the feeding of lipinos baname on super intensive growth of one and two grams we use the same balanced 
uh, with about 38% of raw protein, 7.5 of EE, with uh, 10, 50, and 100 percent substitution of fish meal by fish meal analogs. The experiments were then for the gain of weight on more than 10 grams. It was used nine raised weights of 35,000 liters recovered by the different kind of materials used in the greenhouses. The initial weight was 2.7 at the beginning of this week's. The automatic feeding, it was using different bands and different food feeders for alimentation twice a day. We follow the same parameters, temperature, salinity, oxygen, dissolved pH, ammonia, nitrate, nitrate, alkalinity, sedimentable solids and suspended solids. We use uh, this uh, kind of things as an inoculum of 20%, uh, a mature inoculum uh, with aged for a better process of in using the culture. We put ammonia every day as soon as I reach more than one milligram per day. It becomes like a like a honey in the in the, in the, in the substance in, with different aero tubes, and now we are using the injectors. But in that experiments, we use aero tubes. It was applied uh, hydroxy calcium hydroxidum when it was needed to feed uh, the pH, the alkalinity, um, CO2, when the CO2 was very low, to decrease the CO2, CO2. but using, using the lime it was kept at the proper levels. We put this, we did an extraction with clarificators, that is very easy to work with is pump water with locum to the esclarificator and then we come from this biofloc uh, it was applied probioticals weekly with the objective of prevent the presence of vibrium paramolyticus it was added probiotic balances on the water. The results, all the parameters were kept within or of acceptable levels for the species, and there was no need, uh, there were no detected uh, significant difference between the different treatments. So, and the, the balance did not make changes in the water on the different treatments. The growth, as we can see, is very similar, and there was no significant differences between the treatments. And the parameters the different so technical parameters were not detected significant difference between the treatments but they grew up to 20, 12 or 13 grams the survival is a good survival more than 80 percent and population is very interesting here the conversion of 1.5 and the uh, final we were able to obtain 4.5, 4.4, 4.5, 4.3 kilos per square meter 
those are very interesting numbers. The experiment three, the use of fish meal analog, and uh, for the for a super intensive culture on raceways with shrimp of 10 to 20 grams, we began with shrimp of 9.25 grams on a density of 200 shrimp per square meter or per cubic meter and uh, 10 weeks same methodology that in experiment uh, number two in the water then once again all those parameters were kept within acceptable levels for this species there were not detected differences, significant differences between those treatments for all the parameters that we were checking. Once again, the growth was about the same, using different balanced food with different levels of uh, substitution of fish meal for fish meal analogs. And here we have the results after 10 weeks, the shrimps were able to reach about 19.1, uh, uh, 18, with a production of 3.5, uh, more or less per square meter and a survival, a high survival, because they were big stream already, they are pre-selected. It was not detected significant differences between treatments. Conclusions of experiments 2 and 3, the result confirmed that WFLOX may increase important nutrients included on the balanced foods, and uh, it's possible to substitute up to 100% of the fish meal for with a fish meal analog on the bioflock system and with their super intensive. Experiment 4, they, we work it with uh, the use of diets, fish meal uh, analogs, uh, but with, we work it with with 28, 33, 38% of protein, raw protein, and for growth of super intensive raceways from 1 to 10 grams. So, it was work uh, three balances, uh, isoenergetic balances. But of course, not lysoproteics. And uh, those uh, that protein is 28 percent. 14 was fish meal analog, and 50 percent of fish meal. It was mixed to decrease the kind, the amount from to 22, 33, 38 to see if it's possible to work with different with different amounts of proteins. It was used uh, f automatic feeders on the band and different feeders three times a day. We begin with shrimp of one gram with density of 400 per square meter along a period of 70 days. The, it was used the same methodology for the analysis and the correction of the quality on the experiments 2 and 3. The results, as you can see, the process here using the inoculum was very good. The concentrations of ammonia were low, very low, uh, lower than the safety level. The same thing with the nitrate and the nitrate. Then here and uh, the nitrate uh, it was increased along the experiment in concentrations and put within safety amounts and there were no detected 
significative difference among the treatments. Okay. Dissolved oxygen, alkalinity pH, total suspended solids. There were no detected significant differences among the treatments. As you can see on the slides and the graphics, the behavior is very similar on those parameters. The parameters of the quality of the lava of the water alone all they were kept within safety uh, levels for the species without significant difference the growth in weight it was very similar um, same as you see in the different 28% uh, of raw protein without significant difference the so technical parameters as we can see the final weight was close to 10 or 11 grams. The productivity, it was about 3 kilograms per square meter or 3.75 per, almost 4 per cubic meter. It was used with a little lower, so that's that the space there. And the conversion, the food conversion was uh, very good because the survival was high, so the food conversion is always good in those cases without significant difference in between the treatments. The conclusion for experiment four is possible to use analog fish floor analogs in a balance with 28% of raw protein without affecting the water quality and the final growth of the cultive culture of anime in a bioflux systems. As general conclusions, we have that the result confirmed that the bioflux can add important nutrients as feeding complements. The conversion uh, or were equal or better than, than the inter-traditional system with reconversion. The results confirmed that the different alternative for the use of fish meal on the diet of the shrimp is possible. And probably the price of the balance with the time, we can see that those prices can lower uh, mainly for the system of bioflux systems with the use of fish meal alternatives, analogs. Well, we thank to Aquabip mainly for all those, this work and other sponsors and organizers here of for the study. Thank you. And uh, I'm at your disposal. For any question, there's the email. Thank you so much.